Justice Tulani Saab, Governor Saab, Mazrulat Siddiqui Saab, Mr. Akbar Zaidi, Distinguished Vice Chancellors, our esteemed guests uh, who are visiting Pakistan for this conference, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum. I was given a written speech, but it was so difficult. I said, I'm definitely going to make so many mistakes, I'm going to make a laughing stock of myself. Yeah. So I'm not going to read out from that speech. Uh, I start off, I welcome all of you on behalf of the government of Sindh, on behalf of the people of Sindh, especially the visiting scholars who've come for this conference. I belong to the town of Sindh. I'm elected from there. My village is uh, about 15 kilometers. I've, I've got two villages, one towards uh, the west of Seven, the other to the north of Seven, each about 15 kilometers away from Seven. So Seven is the center of my family, of my activity. The Seven obviously is famous for <coughs> Hazrat Lal Shahbaz Kalandar, the Sufi saint, and uh, what they say is that uh, there is no one custodian of this uh, mazar of uh, Hazrat Lal Shahbaz Kalandar. If there was one, this would this would definitely be the largest, have the largest disciples and followers, and he'd probably be stronger than all the various peers and virtues that we see nowadays. And uh, our family historically also has a small share in the proceeds of Seven, which our forefathers told go and we were navigating. The Endowment Fund Trust came and said that we want to renovate, rehabilitate, and bring back the glory of the Seven Fort. This was some time back, Mr. Hamid Harun, Mr. Hamid Akhun met me and about uh, two years ago we went there and uh, we inaugurated the restoration of the fort. I'm very happy with what is being done and at that time we said let's do a seminar we invite, where we invite international scholars to talk about Seven Sharif, to talk about Alexander the Great and his voyages into sin. Alexander the Great is remembered for his military actions. What we've not done, and because there's a lack of uh, archives on him, we do not have much information on the cultural change that he made when he spent his two years here in the Indus civilization, traveling from the north uh, to the south and back to Persia. And uh, I believe that uh, with the scholars that we have here today with this initiative. We are going to learn about the cultural effects that Alexander's sojourn into uh, the Indus Valley. Uh, I, as I said, I'm happy with the work that is being done by the Endowment Trust Fund. And uh, I hope that the purpose of renovation of Fort so that we can make Seven once again uh, history of Seven, well, no, we, we still do not know uh, where the name Seven came from. Some people talk about, well, it's as old. It was named after one of the sons of Adam. Others talk about the grandson of Noah, as it knew. Then we talk about it, uh, call it Shivastan, you know, after a Hindu. Uh, so we actually do not know the history of Sin, but we know that it's probably the oldest place or the oldest civilization that we have in this part of the world or anywhere. If, we, if we're linking it back to uh, Hazrat Adam salam, and his son, then definitely it is. So I hope that the scholars here. Uh, the scholars who've come over, the scholars in Pakistan uh, would trace the path of Alexander the Great, would 
look at his not only his military endeavors but his uh, the changes that he's made culturally and uh, inshallah uh, bring us a document which would fill the gaps that we have in our history i once again thank the indian film trust for inviting me here today for holding this conference i hope that all the participants will have a great conference and inshallah taala would enjoy not only this conference but the city of karachi i believe i don't know if we are making a trip down to seven or not we are so uh, i'll try and join you i don't promise because of the various commitments that i have nowadays but i'll try and join you for that visit and uh, we'll spend some time with you there once again i thank all of you uh, for being here today and uh, welcome you on behalf of the government and the people of sindh thank you very much pakistan Thank mm-hmm. you.